Hello, this is Consumer Math, Chapter 12. We're going to be talking about Lesson 7. Uh, this is math that machine operators might need to use in their real-life jobs. Um, this is gears that are turning, and there's a ratio between the size of the gear, the number of teeth the gear has, the speed that the gear is turning, and the rule that we're going to use is right here. It's a little hard to see, but it's RPM over RPM, and it specifically is capital RPM, which is the speed of the large gear, divided by lowercase RPM, which is the speed of the smaller gear. And then in this fraction, we have the number of teeth in the smaller gear, and then the number of teeth in the larger gear. So when we set up our numbers in these proportions, then we can just cross multiply and divide, and we will have the answers we're looking for. So I'm going to scroll to the exercise here. Um, and I'm going to write this on the side. This was the ratio from the, the last page. We have capital RPM. Oops, let me start that over. Mm. Okay, we'll get it eventually. There we go, capital RPM. That was the speed of the large gear divided by lowercase RPM, that's the speed of the small gear, equals lowercase t, teeth on the small gear, divided by capital T, teeth on the large gear. So we're gonna just take the three values we know and plug them into this exact same format. So I have capital RPM on the top, so I'm gonna start with 50 for number one, divided by RPM of the small gear, that speed of the small gear is 20, equal to, and then we have small t on the top. That's my unknown, that's my variable. Uh, I'm gonna do a lowercase t, because I don't know that number. And then capital T for number of teeth on the bottom, I'll put the number four on the bottom. When the proportion is set up, then we use cross multiplication and division. So we multiply the two values that we know diagonally. Sometimes our variable will be here, sometimes here, sometimes here, sometimes right here. We're always going to just multiply diagonally the two numbers that we know. So in this case, we'll be multiplying four times 50. If I had known the two numbers here, I would have multiplied there first. But I multiply four times 50, and then I will divide that by 20, and then that will be the number of teeth on the small gear. So four times five is 200. Sorry, four times 50. Four times 50 is 200 divided by 20 would be 10. So we have 10 teeth on the small gear so that the two gears at the appropriate speeds are uh, matching up. That is the same process then for all the rest of these problems, fill in the three values that you know into this format and then cross multiply and divide to find the missing value. Thank you and good luck.